right guys, welcome back to Caveman Crawling. We're gonna do another unboxing of a JLU. This one's the yellow one. Um, this one we're gonna do like, a, we're gonna do a kind of a sleeper build for. We're gonna do some brass parts. It's not gonna have the crazy flex like our white, like the white Jeep does. We're gonna do a bigger motor, digital, better servo, some stuff like that. So be on the lookout for that over the course of the next couple weeks. But let's get into what's in here. So in here we got a card with that has its Jeep on it. It's zip tied in here, so we'll have to cut it out. But we got some pretty squishy, and they're pretty sticky for stock tires. Nitto Trail Grapplers. Got some decal, some sponsor branding decals and all that. You having issues with that butter knife? I was. You'd absolutely be right. But all right, that's the card. Nobody cares about the card. We got the. Wow, this thing's light compared to my modded one. <laughs> we got this completely bone stock. I've literally just opened this Axial SCX24. Well, I would hope so, because that'd be a lot of trouble to go and rezip tie. Yeah, that would be a lot of trouble. In here we got a 350 mAh stock battery, blue top V2 electronics, standard stock AS1 servo, 88 turn motor, nothing super exciting. We're gonna put probably a, uh, an Endura Purple Pro 50 motor in here, Endura digital servo, uh, metal servo horn, metal ser uh, steering links, um, metal tie rod, or metal uh, four link tie rods, We'll four link convert it. We're gonna do some Brassinger wheels with some uh, the RC four wheel drive Milestar Patagonias with some 39 millimeter oil filled shocks. And we'll see from there what else we might do, but that's kind of the where it's gonna stay for right now. Um, we'll be on the lookout. We're gonna do a stock versus mod uh, video with with these. We're gonna we might do the the build on this one kind of a budget build I'll tell you what we spent and uh, sorry guys I just completely had a brain cramp might do a, a budget build or we might just do like a uh, a good first mods video we'll do something I'm not sure yet I'm still kicking around ideas but yeah so we got the brand new stock SCX24 in this awesome yellow color does look really sharp I won't even lie but no it really does then down here in the bottom we got some extra drive lines ex uh, well extra drive line shrouds uh, a wrench batteries for the receiver or for the transmitter I mean owner's manual a cool axial sticker now we just got to find our transmitter Oh, we got a awesome little USB lipo charger. Um, I highly recommend if you're watching this and you're getting into RCs, get a good balance charger. These are they'll work for starting out, but I highly it's one of the first things I highly recommend upgrading is getting a good charger. We got the V2 controller. I'm gonna have to put throw the batteries in it. Should have done this stuff already, but it wouldn't be fair to call it an unboxing if I had. And I'm just fumble fingers over here today. Still a butter knife, YouTube. Don't get mad at me. Man, come on. How many bags do you got to put stuff in? And the batteries are wrapped, of course. But I can break Oh, can you? Hush. <clears throat> hey! Shut up, Cody. <laughs> no, I don't want it. Wouldn't be any fun if I did. And 
then this is the upgraded JLU. It has the V2 electronics, V2 transmitter, V2 receiver. Should we give the farm traffic into the background? It's harvest season where we're at. And there's about a billion trucks that go up and down every day. Oh, come on, man. And this will be interesting also because since our last JLU unboxing, we've done a lot of changes here at the HQ to our park, or off-road park, or our setup, whatever you want to call it. So let's see what we, what this little stock truck will do on some of the crazy new lines we have. Wow, this thing sounds wild. Well, it went up and over the top. Had to give it a little gas, but it did it. And to be fair, this slick rock and stuff that our parks, our tracks made out of is really unforgiving to a stock truck. Um, this truck's doing really good on our stock or on our course for being completely bone stock it's actually really impressive see if it can go up this really kind of challenging spot even our even the modded trucks that we have on the channel have a hard time right here it did it though wow the JLU is really capable right out of the box though so and I rolled it but I am really impressed with this thing's doing out, just stock out of the box. And then some of these lines we're going through are new. They haven't even been shown really on the channel yet. Um, and some of them are pretty rough for a stock truck to do. Especially that one. It's a real steep angle coming up out of that drop. And this is just going up and over everything on the course. It's really impressive to see a stock truck doing this with how much we've changed and how much some of our upgraded trucks can struggle because of just some of the lines that we have out here but um i'll probably i might do a video of some some mods you can do to them stock just to make them run better but we'll see um be on the lookout we'll probably do some shorts we'll some point next year we'll have or some point next year my bad guys some point next week we'll have some mod videos on this We'll probably, we might do it a, a little bit at a time, or we might just do one video of, okay, here's where we're standing. Um, we are going to do a stock versus modded uh, JLU battle. Um, but yeah, and then we'll probably do a, a build versus build ba battle between the two of them once they're fully built. But that does it for this one. We will see you guys out on the trail.